give you an opportunity to see what a pure novice does uh, to play in clay or play in mud as they say. There's a lot of professional uh, videos out there especially Simon uh, Leach is a great one. I love watching his videos but um, this is basically where I've started. I, I'm still a novice and I uh, just thought it might be interesting to show you what I do. Uh, this is one part of my shop. Uh, these cabinets have the different glazes and materials and things in them. Uh, in the corner is a, uh, a homemade turning uh, wheel that I have, a throwing wheel. Uh, basically I put it together uh, with the help of my friends in the maintenance shop where I worked. It's a direct drive uh, electric motor and it's controlled with a uh, speed control that converts 220 single phase into 440 volt three phase which drives the motor and you can adjust the uh, speed on it. I've yet to put a uh, foot pedal on it but it's adequate for what I have. I use plaster uh, throwing bats. I make up a bunch of those and that is my uh, Olympic kiln that I uh, use. I have, uh, you'll see I have a few main hobbies. Two of my hobbies are really mutually exclusive of each other. One is pottery that demands cleanliness and the other one is woodworking uh, which defies cleanliness. So I'm, I'm unfortunately I'm doing these both in the same uh, room here. Uh, when I'm doing one I'm sure not doing the other and I try to keep uh, dust to a minimum. My third hobby is up there uh, which is large uh, model airplanes. But that's not the topic right now although there's another one over there uh, F4U Corsair. And uh, I just took some pieces out of the uh, kiln well, I'll probably show you those real quickly too while we're at it. I uh, have a plate with a problem of, uh, I believe, what it's called the uh, sh uh, shivering, where on a, a larger piece the glaze is actually uh, flaking off, coming off of the uh, edges. And that's from most likely the fact that my white glaze is uh, shrinking at a different rate than the body. I have to uh, adjust that. I have a program called uh, Glaze Chem that I use and I plugged in my uh, recipe and lo and behold it has a very low uh, shrinkage rate, a coefficient of expansion or a coefficient of shrinkage if you look at it that way. So I have to uh, play with that. Uh, these uh, are another uh, little uh, pots that my uh, daughter-in-law and my son uh, played with when they were down and I went ahead and glazed them for them. That one there is uh, one of mine that is uh, it looks like an antique uh, bronze color and then we have some uh, blue ones and some Tenmoku that I uh, mixed up as well. Those uh, came out pretty well. I have a little wax resist on that. And finally before I sign off on this one I have some pots up here. This is where I put my pots uh, to dry. Uh, before they're uh, bisked and I have a few up there waiting. The one with the flowers has already been bisked but I didn't have room for it. That's a few of the different uh, ones there. Thanks a lot everyone for watching. I appreciate it. Bye bye for now.